Well, hi everybody. This is Pastor Pam coming to you on Wednesday. Can you believe we're halfway through another week? You know, on one hand, it's gone really quickly. On the other hand, it's been a long time. We miss you. We miss seeing you. We miss being together. And we hope that you are doing well, that you're continuing to follow protocol, and we'll look forward to the day that we can be together safely. We wish you very well. I wanted to share with you tonight the chorus of a favorite hymn of mine from when I was a child. It goes something like this. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. It's about animals and it's a wonderful, a wonderful song. Uh, it was also made into a series of books about James Harriet wonderful books, stories um, about this vet from Yorkshire, England, the adventures that he had with not only the animals, but with their owners, uh, the adventures of life and death. Um, wonderful reading. It was also a PBS program and we used to love to watch it. Um, we love pets. <laughs> and I just wanna read a little bit from, uh, from Genesis about God. God commanded, let the earth produce all kinds of animals, animal life, domestic and wild, large and small, and it was done. So God made them all, and God was pleased with what God saw. God said, it is very good. You know, one thing that we noticed, uh, as you all have sent your uh, videos in and, and your selfies and your pictures, is that the, there are a lot of pets in this congregation. And that's really fun. We've seen dogs of all shapes and sizes. We've seen pictures of cats uh, that you have. I think we even may have seen a, a guinea pig in one of the videos. Um, and I was thinking about pets. We've always had pets. We love pets. We've had dogs and cats and horses. We've had um, guinea pigs. In fact, we raised them and gave them away um, as birthday gifts. We've had hamsters and gerbils and parakeets and canaries and geckos and um, her uh, hermit crabs and one um, albino corn snake about this long. So we, we love animals. Um, we don't have that many animals anymore, but we, we really enjoy animals. Um, and I was thinking it would be fun to find out a little bit more about the effect of animals on their owners. And so I Googled, did a Google search and up came CDC. Center for Disease Control was the first hit. And I thought that's interesting because we've been working, learning a lot from the CDC with the uh, coronavirus. Um, and they have a lot to say about pets. They say that pets are good for you, that pets help to decrease your blood pressure, that pets help to decrease cholesterol levels and triglyceride levels. They decrease feelings of loneliness because they're good, they're good friends, they're good company. They increase opportunities for exercise and outdoor activities, and we're doing a lot of that these days because our dog needs a, a nice long walk every evening. We need nice long walks every evening too. And, do, and animals give increased opportunities for socialization. Maybe not so much these days as we're keeping our um, distances, but we love to walk the trail with, uh, with our pets and we get to meet other pet owners. So lots of good things come from having pets. Um, I thought I might introduce you to our pets right now. We have a cat and a dog currently, and this is Blaze. This is our cat. He's about 10 years old, and he was a feral barn cat, a tiny little kitten when we got him. And we took him to the vet to see if he would be healthy enough to grow up, and the vet couldn't hear his heartbeat because he was purring so loudly. And he is a really good cat. He's good company, been very good company these evenings. And this is Watson. Hey, Waddy, hop up, come on. Can you get up and do a trick? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, get up and do a trick. Come on, Watson, come on. Well, Waddy, come on, up. Here you go, bud, come. There you go, good boy, I said good boy. Okay, can you sit? Sit, buddy, sit. Good doggy, down, stay, whoa, oh, we'll try it again. Stay, 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 okay. That's a good boy, that's a good boy. 
Well, as you can tell, we get a lot of enjoyment out of our pets. They're great company. And they just, they love us unconditionally and loyally. And that makes, uh, makes for a lot of fun family times together. Very entertaining. I hope that you all are doing well, that you can enjoy this evening, that you can relax and appreciate all the good gifts that God has for us. We miss you. We love you. Take care. Good night.